Hey guys, Eddie here, giving you my straight out of the theater, just got home, Avatar 2 review. Wow. Um, I saw the first one. I was a big fan. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, Avatar, really? I was one of those nuts that saw it 20 times, so I guess you can call me kind of biased. Um, I couldn't think they would have topped the first one. I did see it in 3D, so that might have skewed my perception of the movie. Because 3D, you know, if it's done right, it does make the video in awe or the movie in awe. I do appreciate that. They were the ones who basically made 3D popular. If you remember, after Avatar, every movie was in 3D. Now, with the story here... It's all about him and his family and his wife. I don't want to give no spoilers. It, it felt more heartfelt. It did. It felt more heartfelt. All the water, the creatures in there, it, it felt like a Shakespearean play that was done on the big screen. That took 10 years. And you think three hours... It would last a long time. It, it does, but... It does go by quick. It really does go by quick. Um, what, what was his name? Uh, Sam Harris. I think that's his name. The guy who plays the... Uh, uh, I forgot his name on the movie, but... He plays the, uh, the male lead. Him and the girl. They, they really make it great. But the kids kind of steal the show. At first, the kids, they seem almost annoying. But by the end of the movie, you're rooting for them. You're invested. Dialogue is silly. I mean, it's, it's hey, dude, kind of stuff like that. But they, it really starts to grow on you. And then by the time the movie ends, you want to see more. You do want to see more. So... I want to say, go see it. Go see the movie. Go see the movie. Just go see it. And then when I go see it, I'll let you guys know the actual review. Because I didn't see a goddamn thing. But it looks good. 